New developments this noon about what to expect from the next January 6th public hearing. It's happening Wednesday. It's going to be the first hearing in more than two months. It comes after a surprising claim about a phone call between someone at the White House and someone who attacked the Capitol. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington for us with the latest. A bombshell claim connecting the Trump White House and a rioter on Capitol grounds during the January 6th insurrection. When you see that the White House switchboard had connected to a rioter's phone while it's happening, that's a big, pretty big aha moment. Former GOP Congressman Denver Riggleman revealing details about the call in a 60 Minutes interview. He once served on the January 6th committee's staff. Committee members confirm the call did happen. We are aware of it. Uh, and we're aware of lots of contacts between uh, people in the White House and different people that were involved. The panel holds what could be its final public hearing Wednesday. Every step of the way was a multi-part plan that he oversaw, he was involved in personally and directly. They say former President Donald Trump and his allies spread false claims about election fraud, inciting the mob that stormed the Capitol. It will be the usual mix of information in the public domain and new information woven together to tell the story about one key thematic element of Donald Trump's effort to overturn the election. Former President Trump slammed the committee's work as an effort to distract voters ahead of midterm elections. But the radical Democrats don't care about prosecuting violent criminals. They only care about persecuting Republicans or conservatives. January 6th committee members say possible criminal referrals could come from their investigation. They plan to release a final report on their findings. No word on whether that will come before voters cast their ballots this November. In Washington, Bree Jackson for NBC News.